Hey party people, I am Zeke from Replicate and today I want to show you how to run Replicate models using Cloudflare workers. So let's start with a demo. Here I've got a browser window open to a template repository. I've got my terminal window open and I've got my timer open with one minute on it. And my goal here is to go from nothing to having a working Cloudflare workers app on my local machine and deployed to the cloud running replicate models. So let's see if I can pull it off. Start the timer, open up this readme, grab this snippet, paste it in my terminal, run it, go grab a replicate API token. Copy my token. Yes, I want to use Git for version control. Yes, I want to deploy my application. All right, so here we go. The Cloudflare CLI is doing all this magic work for me. I'm setting up this application, deploying it, setting up DNS. Come on, DNS, don't fail me now. Let's go into the demo directory, run this command put in the replicate API key, and generate an image. Boom! Under one minute. Whew. OK, that worked. So let's dig in and see what's going on here. Um, first of all, I didn't even explain what, um, what Cloudflare is, but now we can kind of get into that. So um, Cloudflare is a web platform, serverless platform for building web applications. So Cloudflare does all kinds of things. You've probably heard of Cloudflare as maybe a DNS provider or um, a service that helps you avoid, um, you know, being uh, DDoSed um, to keep your website up and running. But Cloudflare actually has uh, a whole suite of um, developer services, <clears throat> um, which are akin to um, some of the uh, AWS services that we are all familiar with, like EC2 and S3. Um, but Cloudflare has sort of a more uh, developer-friendly spin on a lot of these products. So Workers is basically just a serverless platform that lets you run server-like functions using uh, a Node-esque runtime or a Python runtime. Um, and then you can also just use it to host things like static web pages or cron jobs. Um, so this, this app also uses Hono, which is a, uh, a web framework that's maintained by the Cloudflare team that makes it really easy and sort of ergonomic to build applications using Cloudflare workers that have both serverless components as well as uh, front-end code as well. Um, and then Replicate, if you're here, you probably know what Replicate is already, but Replicate is a platform for building and running machine learning models in the cloud. Um, and Fluxchnell is the particular image generation model that we're using here in this demo. So let's jump into the code a little bit and see what's going on. So. Uh, this is a very simple application. There's only a few pieces of code that are, are really um, worth digging into. So in the source directory, we have this one TypeScript file, and this is the entirety of our worker code. So we initiate the Hono uh, web service tool. We create a Hono app and we set up one route, which is the serverless route for um, accepting the prompt and send, making an API request to replicate and then returning the, the JSON data that we got back from replicate so that the browser can render it. So this is the, the back end, if you will. The front end is just a regular old HTML file that uses a CDN hosted version of React and then the React app is also pretty straightforward. It basically just renders a component with a form. And when you fill out the form, it calls that backend function and adds images to the, to the page. 
So you can type in anything here, like cats um, smoking cigars. And there you go. You can see how fast it is. Uh, Flux Schnell is one of the fastest image generation models on Replicate. Um, you get you know, sub-second response times here. So there you have it. Quick demo how to uh, run Cloudflare workers to to build um, to build apps that use Replicate. One more thing I wanted to plug here. We have an extended doc here on the website that shows you how to build an image cache using Cloudflare workers. So the idea here is um, when you run a replicate model and it generates some kind of image response, um, if you're using the API, those images only survive as a hosted URL for an hour. And so if you want to keep them and use them in your application, you've got to store them somewhere. So using Cloudflare workers to sort of intercept those requests combined with a service like Cloudflare R2 or Cloudflare Images is a great option for um, storing those uh, model outputs from Replicate so that they um, are persistent and durable. So uh, hopefully this is useful. Again, here's the repo and Thanks for watching. Have fun using Cloudflare and Replicate. Bye.